Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. I got something important to show you, and it ain't an iPhone. It's, I, you know, I don't want a case on the new Moto X because the Moto Maker is back. This was the phone of the year, I thought, last year, uh, the Motorola X. Um, the Moto Maker feature was really cool. You go to motomaker.com and design your own phone. They had wooden backs, they had plastic backs, and now they've got leather backs. This is the Cognac leather back. And it's it's beautiful, Horween leather. Horween is one of the last tanneries in the United States in Chicago, and they this is going to, you know, it's already got, you know, I've had, I took it to London. I've had it for a while. It's starting to get a little bit of a nice fit. That is cool. It's like your your wallet. It just starts to show its age. It is beautiful. You won't want to put a case on uh, on your uh, Moto X phone. Now, the things I didn't, I don't remember what my code is. <laughs> the things I didn't like about last year's Moto X uh, were twofold. First of all, it was a perfect size, 4.7 inches, but a less than perfect 720p screen. Also, the camera, uh, let's face it, was terrible. Um, so I was hoping the new Moto X, they would improve those two things. And indeed, they did. This is a 1080p screen now. And it is 5.2 inches. Actually, I'm a little less satisfied with that. I really like 4.7 inches. Uh, this iPhone is a 4.7 inch iPhone. It just fits a little bit better in the hand. This is a little stockier, a little wider. Uh, on the other hand, at 1080p, it is, it is a gorgeous Super AMOLED uh, screen, so you get really rich colors. Um, and the camera is much better, 13 megapixel shooter. I took a lot of pictures in London. It's not iPhone quality still. I have to say nothing's better than the iPhone as far as I'm concerned. But it's okay, and it's certainly a lot better than the original Moto X. Price is good too. They offer versions from all the carriers, subsidized as always. But you can also go and get uh, one unlocked, which this was. Uh, that way you can use it uh, with any carrier, T-Mobile, AT&T. Um, but uh, the price is a, is a little steeper than, say, a, a Nexus phone. It's $500 for the 32 gigabyte version. And by the way, that's the top amount of memory you can get is 32 gigs. No SD card slot for expansion. No removable battery. What you see is what you get. The thing that people really liked about Moto X, that I really liked about Moto X, was the fact that you could talk to it. It has a separate chip that's always listening. So I can say, okay, Moto X, and nothing will happen. Wow. That's, um, hey okay, now, Google. Moto X. Well, you hey, can, hey, Moto X. Hey, hey. You know, okay, forget it. I don't like it. So, uh, <laughs> no, I, that <laughs> the really last is a time great, you had one, it wouldn't shut up. It went it, off in your pocket. Is, and, it, it, look, at, we know from Hey Siri, too, this yes. is an imperfect process. Uh, and uh, wow, it was working better before, maybe because I have the earpiece here too. And I'll, I'll explain the Moto hint in a second, because that will, of course, become your microphone when you put it in. Um, on the pros and cons, I do really like the design. I love the leather back. Moto Maker is a really good idea. I wish more oh, carriers cool. yeah, would uh, adopt this, more phone manufacturers would adopt this. It's pretty much pure Google. I'm actually not demonstrating at its best because I've got a, a launcher. I'm using the Apex launcher. But so let's let's go to the Google Now Launcher, which is the stock launcher with it. And uh, and you'll see it's very much a pure uh, Google phone with a few Motorola extensions, particularly that Motorola Connect, uh, which allows you... Let me let me launch the Connect here and uh, show you. It allow. Oh, yeah. I have to reuse... Relearn how I uh, <laughs> do this. Launchers, yeah. Um, the, the Connect will allow you to... Oh, this is actually not what I want. I'm sorry. They've changed it now to Moto... Let's go here. The Moto app will allow... Now it's working. Thank you very much. <laughs> will allow you to do a few things that are really uh, great. It'll listen and respond. Maybe I maybe I reprogrammed this. Do you think it was a, your different launcher and it wasn't listening? Um, oh, I did. I changed it. Oh. Let's try it again. The one thing, and this is true about... Uh, I found with the Siri uh, launcher, the more syllables, the more likely you will not... You'll get false positives. You'll accidentally trigger it. So I actually made it longer. Wake up, Moto X. Wake up, Moco, Moto... Hey, wake up, Moto X. Wake Hippopotamus up. Hippopotamonstrous quipidelophobia, Moto X. Wake up, Moto X. Um, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> it looks uh, it's such stunning a good demo. review. <laughs> <sighs> but that, that's actually the problem I have with a lot of these things. Now, once you wake it up, there's lots of things you can do. You could say, for instance, take a selfie. Uh, and it will give you a countdown, three, two, one, and take the front camera picture. Um, you could say, what's up? It'll tell you the time. 
upcoming appointments, incoming texts, that kind of thing. You can have the assist tell you uh, do things differently. When you're at home, for instance, you can have assist set up to say, hey, uh, your daughter's calling. Would you like to answer? It will read you texts and say, would you like to reply? Similarly with driving, you can reject all texts if you wish, but you can also have the text read to you and respond to them without touching the screen at all. I use sleep all the time. It doesn't go on. It doesn't make any noise. It doesn't buzz, vibrate, or bumble uh, in the middle of the night because I've told it I'm sleeping. And when somebody texts me in the middle of the night, it will send them a text saying, I'm sleeping, but uh, leave a message. Oh, nice. And I'll call you back. So I really like these features. Motorola's added a new feature on this. This has a now, unlike the original Moto X, a metal trim around the edge, and that's the antenna. And they've actually dedicated a chip. According to iFixit, it's a chip normally used as a capacitance sensor. It knows where your fingers are and tunes the antenna so that oh. you don't have an antenna gate ty uh, type of problem. It actually uh, works really well. You're, you're, you're in the middle of a I'm call. In the middle. Hello, whoever I'm talking to. Let me just hang up on that. Um, yeah. Thank you, Moto X. <laughs> so, no, it does actually work better. I'm not sure why it's not working now, but it, but like all these voice-activated things, it's, it isn't perfect. You're and still frankly, in the call. One second. Let me just... Uh... No, I'm not. I'm not talking about so, I, sir, I heard someone say hello. Hello. Like, you can see the the call uh, icon. Uh, goodbye. And, Who did I call? Hang up. Hit hang up. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> stock, uh, stock. Pretty much stock Android means that it's going to get the uh, L update very quickly. Motorola also promises an update to the radios, and this was a little caveat. Uh, I did put a T-Mobile SIM in this. I'm using it with T-Mobile and hope to use it in London. Uh, but unfortunately, even though T-Mobile offers free text, phone calls, and data as you travel internationally, this didn't have the right radios for England. Uh, they haven't turned on all the radios, but apparently they're there. And Motorola says, we're going to do an update that will turn on those radios. So uh, if you plan to use this internationally, I'd wait until that update comes out. You know, on the pro side, I love the design. Uh, the new screen is very nice. The camera is better. Not great, but better. They, they did fix that problem, and I'm glad I'm glad that they did. Uh, the cons, as you can see, some of the features that they're really touting, like the always listening, don't work all the time, and that's that can be a little bit annoying. Uh, the price is not as low as it will be, and this is something they did also with the original Moto X. They, they charged a full price for what was, frankly, less than a flagship phone last year, uh, and then slowly lowered the price over the lifetime of the phone down to what I think is, a, is an appropriate uh, price. I presume they'll do the same thing, but right now, uh, fully loaded with a nice leather back, which costs 25 bucks extra, and 32 gigs of RAM, it's uh, it's close to $500. So, uh, But the Mono Maker's fun, and you can really get the phone that looks exactly like you want it to look. Uh, I have to say, I'm gonna give this a do not buy, because while I like many of these oh, features, wow. oh, one more one more thing I should mention, the battery life is disappointing. Uh, it's not much better than the original battery life on last year's Moto X. And because you have a higher resolution screen, I, I'm not surprised. It's not a very, it's a, it's a medium sized, uh, I think it's 2800 or 2900 milliamp hours, which for this size phone and this size screen is probably not adequate. I'm getting about 12 hours of battery life. Wow. And that is not enough as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I really, I really want 16 hours minimum. Yeah, so I'll get through a whole day right. and still have 30% yeah, battery. Yeah, the iPhone is quite iPhone. amazing. They've really improved battery life. This is a, a, a sluggard. You, if you, if, if you always have it plugged in, maybe that's not a problem. Or you know, you can bring it to work and plug it in. It's not a problem. But I got to tell you, uh, traveling around uh, London by evening, it was done. Yeah, that's no good. Well, that's bad. So uh, I don't recommend this phone. I have to say, it's a little bit of a disappointment. Mostly because there are better Android phones out there. Even the One Plus One at uh, about a third the cost is a much better phone with a nice screen and much better battery life. Um, gosh, I really wanted to love the Moto X. I really did. I loved the first edition, um, but they haven't made it good enough. And frankly, the lack of battery life is a killer. I do like the Moto 360. Remember, I reviewed that. Mm -hmm. And it will use the Moto X, but the Moto 360 works with an Android phone in almost exactly the same way. 